Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to yet another episode of um, trying out the Japanese Empire in the Rise of Nations mod. Hmm. These are good divisions that we're going up against. Okay. So last time, um, okay, don't mind if I do. We're going to try to surge out from here. Hopefully they still have fuel. You're not going to get there in time, bud. I would stop doing that if I were you. Unfortunately, they might utilize all of our fuel before we're able to do this. Dang. They cut us off. If we're lucky, we can do this. If we're lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop assaulting there. Frag grenade. So we did start researching World War II equipment itself. Um, we should have, yes, support from over here. <laughs> we might be able to get there in time. We might not be able to. One day. One day, ten hours. Oh. Shoot. That's not my fault. It looked like you were going somewhere else. Let's sort out the... I'll sort this out here in a bit. A little bit. Looks like we won't really need them, though. Let's sort out what's going on over here. You guys have a very important mission of landing here. And then from there, we're going to have more attacks. I don't think we can do... Ooh, we can. Go to the Bismarck. And we can actually go here. Hold on. Thing of three that can do that there, but it should be fine. <clears throat> so let's see. There's no planes down here. These two separate islands? It's the same island. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Start island hopping. These two. There. 
There. And we're just going to keep on moving from these places. He's going to win soon. I'm going to have him jump up there towards Wake a bit more. I'm going to actually split up this force here. All right, let's see. Where is the Navy? You're supposed to be helping. Where are you? Go help. Speaking of which, it's a class two. You guys should start doing this. You guys should do that. And I think they might have enough. Nineteen to four. Actually, honestly. Let's just throw that one there. gonna need cast support. I think the cast is doing their job. Go ahead, go here. Instead, I want you to go right back down here. Oh, wait, never mind. You're in the right spot. Sorry. I think you're in the right spot anyways. I don't think they can move from there. I don't think anybody's moving there. Oh, that's why. Do me a favor, hit that one place really hard. It's only one division, for now. Literally just the one division. This is probably why we have so many losses, just little tiny things like this. We're gonna invest in a bigger gun. We're gonna go ahead and produce that bigger gun, because it's pretty expensive oh yeah that's right I was supposed to do the thing where we increase the reliability of our fighters mainly behind this it's because I'm dumb <laughs> um the fighters is fine or the fighters is the issue tactical bomber ground attack is only two. Oh yeah ground attack is 2.5 to the six that's in early cast. Alright, that cast might that nineteen ten cast might be a lifesaver, I'm not gonna lie. That nineteen cast nineteen ten cast might be an actual life lifesaver. We need them 
to stop that immediately. The Momo class. Oh, that is perfect. Tenryu. Okay. So please produce fighters. Please produce airships. Please instead produce cats. Destroyer. I'm going to get rid of it. Destroyer 4. Where's Destroyer 3? Destroyer 3, get rid of it. Give me my Destroyer 4. And because we're not going up against enemy submarines. Actually, what was our... What was this one? It was literally just the same thing? Okay. Because we're scared of enemy submarines, and we're scared of what happens if we have to meet them. We're just doing this. Light battery. No sonar. Torpedo launcher. No. And we're going to start naming them. Because I believe the Momo is the first level, the first type of class that was actually seen battle in World War II, if I'm not mistaken. We'll lose nine days worth of production. We can afford it right now. It's only nine days. We're not going to be severely injured by losing nine days. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, shoot, I just realized something. Let's get these guys in here. They're all defending the front line. Thank goodness we actually have a front line. So they got 83. They're completely encircled. Come on. There we go. Please tell me you're not moving the opposite direction of the direction that we need actual assistance in. That would be kind of dumb. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be kind of dumb? It would, wouldn't it? Have you come somewhere else? Alright. So we're able to inflict heavy casualties at a cost, but we're able to inflict heavy casualties. Approaching 1 million, and they have 2.5 million. Kingdom of Benelux is 200,000. We're approaching 800,000. So it's like. We're really, you know, trading fairly well. Hopefully with these brand new planes that we got that are actually um really reliable. Or, well, these other newer planes. Because these are only going to be 70%. Which is literally the same as these guys. So we're going to immediately take them in and modify them so that they are more reliable because we really don't need less reliable planes we need more reliable planes and it looks like if i'm not mistaken it looks as if not only are we getting kai a 1901s give some insane levels did we end up winning or did we lose oh we kind of won and lost at the same time all right i can take that i can work with it somehow we're pushing question mark is it because they're in a battle already? Do they have fuel? 
they do not currently have fuel, so I'm not going to touch them. Um, we're just going to move that one up. Instead, we'll see if anybody's moving into there. They are trying to. So let's go ahead and see. No. That's it. If we can just push that back a little bit. Okay. Halt. Oh, we lost all of the armored cars, didn't we? And soldiers. Reasonably enough. Yeah. This kind of tends to happen. We just needed to buy time. We just needed to buy time. It looks like it's only one, though. And he's going to be there in six days. The battle's going to be one in one day. Alright. What's going on here? When are you going to get there, though? Six days. Three days. We can just wait a couple of days worth of replenishment, I think. We can just hold them off for at least a day. It's kind of suicidal. Ultranationalism on the rise. Is it an actual battle? No. Alright, cool. We are indeed sinking their convoys. The situation is starting to get more and more serious for them. As we take more and more islands, they're able to do less and less. They're able to gather less and less resources. I don't think there's any actual resources here, but... It's just limiting them severely. We're just like everywhere all at once. Convoy, 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 convoy. As they lose more and more convoys, this is going to get more and more intense for them. Because they're not going to be able to use that super fleet. Instead, they're probably just trying to produce convoys. Let me see. And they're already on all adult serves, so... Yeah, they have, they have about 400 factories, but 30% of them don't count. They have a huge industry, but it can't be used to its fullest potential because they're too busy trying to make sure they have soldiers on the front lines. It's kind of funny to me. I mean, yeah, you can do that, I guess. You can do that, I guess. I don't know. What are you, what are you doing? When are you going to get there? One day? When are you going to get there? 13 hours? Perfect. Oof. Hey, you. Screw. Off. Yeah? Go away. What are these? They're having to use a lot of equipment. I'm telling you right now, it's... The amount of equipment that they're needing to use is not really worth it. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Will flippin' supply actually increase to literally anything? Oh, we might be able to do something with the supply. How long will this battle last? Less than a day? Are you going to get there in less than a day? No. We might be able to stop them from moving. One day, five hours. One day, eight hours. Where are you going? Where are you 
you think you're going? I don't think so, bud. We're not going to be able to hold it. There we go. Let's try to get second one up here. I'm gonna move these two out. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna move these two to like back here. They need a minute to rest. Oh. Yep, we're gonna get there. In just a little bit of time. You guys almost did it. I saw it. You're fine now. You don't have to try and impress me or anything. So they're still trying to push beyond this river and into our hills. It's not really working well for them, <laughs> as you can see. I do still want to make that special forces unit, though. So let's see what we can do here. They're taking extremely long to actually get trained out. All right, so where is it? Not this one. I don't know about that one. Do I need it? No. I don't need it at all. Not too sure what this cavalry template is for. It's 20 width with two of those. I'm gonna get rid of all those. Alright. We don't have... Okay. Duplicate. Uh oh. Alright, let's try. Alright, let me see here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Put that. Home guard, don't put Jaeger. Be a super. Honestly, we we'll just put a little more here. Sure. Where is it? Show me. I wish light infantry. Does light infantry do what I think light infantry does? 
Input two marines. So it's going to be really good at like everything. Maybe artillery can still move. HP will be going down, organization will be going down slightly. Initiative is going up by a lot, piercing is up by a lot, breakthrough is up by a lot, defense is up by a lot. Heart attack is quite a bit. I'm going to start with just like six. See, so they're not great at defending. They need manpower. Is supply working all right? It's doing okay. It's Doing all right. Whoa, what's going on? I just picked up on that. They're being attacked by a lot of soldiers. Let's see if we can have you to move right there. You look that out right there. Fudge. All right, everybody, hold. 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 It's official. We're bringing down the, um... <sighs> bringing down the Mountaineers. gonna try to reach the mountains and stuff they're just gonna try to reach the river so the mountaineers are gonna leave should be able to manage without the Mountaineers. They might not manage without the Mountaineers. I don't know, and I don't really care that much. Nice, we got all of these guys. So, let me see. There is one of them that is not where they're supposed to be. I'm gonna find out where they're at.
Where are they? Where are you? Show yourself to me. Show yourself to me. You oh, you're right there for some weird reason. Okay. I'm gonna send all three of you. To site bomb. And there you will train for amphibious operations. Where are you? There you are. You're going to, um, I don't know. Is this connected? It is. I don't want you going alone there. We'll send you north. It doesn't provide much use to us, but it's not useless either. Okay. So what we will do We do have the um, we basically have the submarine screening for the Marines. And they're screening for those Marines because, um, you know, they're like taking out the enemy supply before they even get there, so the enemy is going to be significantly weaker. With this airbase, we won't be able to get the middle of the Philippine Sea, but we should be able to reach like right into the Midlands of the um, Philippine Sea. Taking out all of those flipping convoys. Is the enemy here? No, it's just where we're training. Okay. Let's see. Did you guys land? You did indeed land. You did indeed land. Right. Let's get rid of that. Where aren't you going? You are going. Are you there yet? What's going on? Let's see what's going on. Alright, let's see. We technically don't need you up here anymore because the enemy can't really reach it, can they? I don't know, I don't care. Anywhere they're willing to go, just get rid of them. Do me a favor. Try to go like there first. Actually, control B. Here first. Damn. All right. I don't know. I tried to do something really cool, special. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these guys, put them on this front line. Right here. Yeah. 
There you go. So now we have one more factory. And to be fairly honest, I kind of want to put it on... There's nothing I don't really want it on. <clears throat> I'm willing to spend a little bit more of my industry. Trying to just catch up on these airships. Oh, I realize why we're actually not catching up on some of the airships. We will see, though, that not only are these fighters really experienced, but now they'll stop losing all of our planes. Slowly but surely. As they gain more and more re uh, reliability. Fortunately, we don't quite have enough soldiers to really hold this line, as they are starting to shift down soldiers in response to us shifting more soldiers down here. So we'll see what's going on with it so far. We're just going to try to hold certain specific locations. Do not go to where it's already fine and instead go to the places that we need you at. Could you please not try attacking the enemy right now? It's not really smart. We got them in a situation. Oh, I see. This is why we're winning the battles up here and not winning down here because we have casts. Well, I am going to move the casts. They have not responded with any type of air force, really. I'm a little scared by it. Just a little bit scared. We are indeed taking down more, more and more, and we're losing a little bit less. Mostly due to accidents. We have shot down a t grand total of three. That's really good, actually. 9% enemy planes disrupted. Fortunately, none, none of these actually cover the area that they need to cover, so we really can't do a whole lot about it. But as we produce more, it should get better. Produce more, lose less. The situation in the north is about to be solved. First time in a very long time, the situation in the north is completely under control. Completely under our control. I'm going to start attacking again. I'm about to lose one and two units. They're not going to have any real supply over here either, because they're going to have to rely not on the trucks. They can't rely on the trucks. We are taking out all the trucks that they can use. I'm going to move them over here. The Russian Far East. The enemy has responded with their navy, or with their air force. All right. They just have more. I don't know what they have over here, but it's not really good. Dang. Yeah. Immediately actually taking out a lot of our stuff over here. I think the supply system has improved. Not by a lot, but it has indeed improved. That is something. 
I will take something over nothing. Ooh, we have four different directions to attack from here. We're already over the flippin' bridge. When did we get over the bridge over here? No, oh, we've been over the bridge over here. Oh, did we take... Is this a flippin' supply point? Hold on. Is there a supply hub here? No. Okay. I thought this was a supply hub. I was gonna say, oh, we took the supply hub. We did have this at one point. When you take this, everything else around it kind of just starts to fall apart. Like, when you take this, nothing over here really works. Have we still not built this up yet? What is going on? Come on. 12th of December in 1913. That is quite the time to wait. Well, good news is we have stabilized our beachhead in Shandong. Bad news is we still don't have control of the situation. Still suffering attacks. We can just take two dogs in there. It doesn't matter that much. Something we can think about though. It would save one thing but use up a lot of another. We need heavy cavalry using all these. Which type of artillery are we using? Gonna lose the breakthrough. They gain a lot more piercing. They gain defense and soft attack. They lose their speed though. That's why they don't have it. What is here? Oh, this is the artillery. And then the light cavalry just has cavalry. Alright, I see. And they're better at defending. Whereas these guys can't really defend that well. Okay. What is the mountain division doing? It's doing fairly well. With immense amounts of defense versus our normal, which is just a block. It's just a block that can't really be moved. To be realistic. Yeah, there's no supply over here. I don't know why. Is this... It's a whole nother state over here. Where is the state? It's this. And this is the... Okay. Let's see what we can do. It's... Actually, going to medium. Interestingly enough. I don't need you guys defending this point anymore. You guys can consolidate. I want to force them out. Oh, we might be able to do that. Oh, we're going to be able to do that. Okay. Don't move. Don't you dare move. Oh, 
Okay. We can stop now. It's just more that they're gonna throw up here. They're just like darn near completely surrounded. And by saving this, dealing like as much damage as we can here, we're freeing up so many soldiers here. So many soldiers consolidating the line by so much. It's literally like one, two, three, four. Three provinces we ain't gotta worry about. It takes a lot bigger effect than one would probably expect. Where did the divisions go that I had assigned here? They keep on putting pressure right here, and it's really annoying because if I just didn't have pressure, I might be able to actually push here. I'd be able to put pressure on them. Being able to put pressure on them is very important right now. Oh. Oh. They're not going to really have a division anymore there. We can probably keep one. Probably this one here. Just so that it's... Are they moving? They're moving back. They're moving over? They are. We can't really do anything about it. Except try to win in time. What's moving over here? One day? Two days? Zero hours, nice. Less than a day. Please win, please win. Alright, so it's holding. This thing holds. Unfortunately, he got wounded. That's fine. By me, to be fairly honest. Three, two, one. Move in there. They're trying to punish us for it. Which sounds fair enough. You guys down? You replenished? Flipping train up real quick. Where are you? Goodness gracious. I know. Um... I can't really afford to lose another division like that. Where are you? Alright, we're just gonna take these three and pull them off. Over here. back. Just a little bit, not a lot of it. Dang. Did they really reinforce that? Oh no, that's just been there. Alright, well, as soon as they finish with this attack, because they have to. It's more or less a distraction attack. It's 
so that we can actually move up in full force that way. Shift down. Okay, you should do better than right there. Do me a favor, go over there. Help defend. You should be... You, you should probably pull back. Just now. In return, send this one. They're trying to apply a lot of pressure. Good thing these are mostly special forces. Can afford to take two. Now my lines are thinning just a bit up here. And it's a little bit thin. But this should be fine. Goodness gracious. Once this thing has gotten experience, <laughs> and it's going to gain a lot more experience because it's got quite a few very reliable planes. World War II construction so that we're building faster. We need a few more resources. Actually, there's no resources that we actually really technically can use at this time. So we're pulling off 48. We have quite a bit of storage. I'm going to take a look at our Our lines are quite thin. How are you still pushing? Oh, because they have this flipping place right here. And they do have entrenches here, don't they? They do. However, it is worth noting that we do have casts up in this region. doing tons of damage 1.14 okay i think we're we've been preventing the death of literally everybody else just by being able to just be a menace i see yeah, their war that they have with everybody else is meaning that uh, they're kind of destroying everybody else. Hellenistic Republic is not going down without a fight, though. Where's Greece? It's going to get really tough for them over here, because those are all mountains. I don't mind having them train. We need our forces actually trained in order for them to do any damage here. Did we land everywhere? It looks like we actually did. There we go. 
Oh shoot, I completely forgot that that's supposed to be... Okay. Maybe could've, should've, would've put uh, one more unit there before I did this. And the good thing is, is, we technically control this little island chain. Or we don't technically control it. Alright. You guys are going to... Yeah, we'll take this island first. Here. Do, 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 do. You guys are going to move to this island first. part of a single chain. I don't think they can actually move through. Can we do that. Just trying to save a little bit. Some of them are able to actually move throughout all of them and getting all of this and stuff. Some, not a lot. Mostly the newer ones. There we go. So now it's actually going to be like looking like another navy. Might be able to get it in time. Get another torpedo out. Come on. There he goes. So I think we got all the, uh, not quite heavy artillery speed, soft attack. We'll get the speed one. We really do want speed on our heavy artillery, make it actually viable.
check up on them. They're still losing them. Or we're just not really producing them to the same level that we really need to. Meanwhile, these guys are just having a good old time. 20 of the new, brand new ones. They have 17 accidents happening. There is slowly, these guys are slowly getting the new ones. You have a lot of the old ones. This one has a lot of the old ones. Let's see. This one also has a lot of the old ones. Also has a lot of the new ones. This one is probably the best one off because it actually has only the newer models. As far as the uh, 1908 models. This one is just chilling. Even though it has a low reliability, naturally speaking, it's just... No, these have, like, a lot of reliability, actually. They're just able to just do their job. Bombers losses, support losses, 18. Meanwhile, their uh, buildings have been going kaput. Troops have been going kaput. I need to start losing trucks as well. I think we've already gotten rid of all their rail railway guns, so. Would you stop flipping attacking us, please? For fuck's sake. University of Kanto. That would be pretty nice, actually. I don't even know where those are. How you boost that? Where are those? Are they even on here? Oh, they are. Interesting. It's like Key 21, G3M, Rico. That's literally World War II. Fighter, nice. <gasps> oh, we need that. Oh, we can actually get a coup. Do we need war support? It needs that. So, let's just see if we can get electricity or transport, actually. Oh, that would be nice. So, what does this do? They're more reliable. Tiny bit more expensive. But uh, pretty fast. A lot faster, actually. 20%, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, please tell me I can actually do that. Nice. I should now... Hold on. 
hold off on all that. We got the frag grenade. Can then get early support weapons. Or we can get machine gun. Which will be more important. There we go. We've already had a bunch of those to get displaced. Where are you guys going? Alright, reasonable enough. Alright, that's it. Hold. How and why? Basic early fighter. So we're not actually going to immediately throw that out. What we're immediately going to do is make it more reliable. Which is going to be fairly expensive. Swap that bad boy out for this. Ay ay ay, are you kidding me? I just got my flipping production up. You're you're kidding me, right? Is it gonna do that each and every single time? I'm never gonna be able to catch up with this. That's the kind of case. What else did we have? Oh yeah, the fighter is what we just researched. And then we can improved early fighter. Actually, that's not too expensive. It's two years ahead of time for 483 days. When that gets to about 300 days, it would be very useful. I would get the early tactical bomber, but it's not useful to me. Actually, wait a second. No, it's not useful. This explains perfectly why Bombers weren't used, but airships were until World War II came by. The airship, further range, takes more manpower, but it has more defense, because you can actually put like a bunch of machine guns on an airship. It is technically more agile, as in the sense that it can go up and down very fast. Like literally, before a fighter could actually like fly up to the balloon, the balloon would just fly up, you know, kind of like a little kid reaching for his balloon when he accidentally lets it go. It's full of helium. It's literally the same thing would happen, except it would be, you know, the fighter trying to kill the balloon airship, but the airship just flies away. Their capabilities were never actually technically surpassed. They were decreased because of the Hindenburg in this incident, and it was like super publicized and some for some crazy reason, crazy reason. All because of the Hindenburg, 
people got really scared of airships. And because people got scared of airships, the military just stopped using them. It was really weird. Really, really weird. Many, many flippin' uh, military theorists were really perplexed by it. Also, the fact that it takes a lot of engineering, a lot of time, a lot of building for a plane, whereas the airship was kind of simple. Its simplest designs were simple, and they worked. I might just get the early fighter. Maybe, kind of. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll go into engineering now. Because something here is... There we go. This will make our attacks really worthwhile. I can hold off on that. Oh yes, better howitzers. As we get these better howitzers, they're actually going to perform really good. Like, really good. We're now overproducing guns again. Never actually overproduced our Type 44 carbines, did we? Like, I highly doubt most of our soldiers on the front lines actually had, um... I know these guys never got them. But well, they did get Type 44s. Not a lot of them. They mostly have Type 38s. <laughs> these guys got some Type 44s. Very few of them, though. Probably like the Marksman Sig. Yeah. Type 44. Then our mainline troops got a bunch of- okay, so they did get, like, almost entirely Type 44 carbines. The mainline troops did get mostly, if not entirely, Type 44s. They do have some pretty good field guns. Not bad. Is that better field guns than what we have? No. 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 Not better, but it's not bad. What else? Because I actually do like taking a look at this. It just shows you, like, what actually happens. So they did have Type 44s. We were still trying to replace them. Some people were still using... These are probably backline troops, like the cooks and stuff are giving the older types of rifles. Is that a Type 30? Hold on. Oh my goodness, yeah. We do kind of need guns pretty bad, don't we? So then we have a bunch of, like, specialized troops that are actually trying to use the good guns. You can see, like, they don't have all the sockets. We're going to look at the different templates here but you see how they have type 44s and some of these type 38 1914s type 38 carbines let's see which one is the most it's the type 38 and then you have the type 44 it's mostly type 44 and now they are the only ones actually getting these brand new type 4 type 38 1914s Let's take a look at our here. Yep, these uh, the Marines are getting the Type 38 1914s first. Pretty nice. From the middle back. Yep. 
There were three variations of the rifle. Interesting. But yeah, we can just see, yeah, they have, this is where all of our newer guns are going. They're going straight to the Marines. Alright, let's see. I don't know why you're attacking us. It's not a very smart idea. We outgun you. By a lot. These hills? They are hills. Nice. So they can reinforce other areas. Juggling the troops down there to make sure that they get Should just be the one troop that should be enough to hold this back. They don't have a lot left. Not a lot of gumption left in the enemy. We are taking a lot from them. Fortunately, we do have to flip in. I can't believe that's the way they decide to do it. That explains a lot. That explains why we're doing kind of bad right now. Because it means we can use most of this. I think like we can use all of the um, battle plans. I think it even keeps some of the soft attack and the hard attack stuff. Maybe. Kind of. Not really. One, two, we're gonna do one more, three, nice. We don't to take that much supply anymore, so we lose even less supply, which is going to be a lifesaver later on. Ten of you, I think we already did all of that. Ten of you, Congo. Okay. Nice. So what we're going to do? It's a light cruiser, it's not a heavy cruiser. I don't think we can actually use any more heavy cruisers. Yeah, heavy cruisers aren't until, for a few more years, until middle war. But we can get a seaplane carrier. Where's the capacity? 25. Forty-two, jeez Louise. In twenty six. Oh. Okay, I see. That's why I had an extremely, it would be like 50, but this has a historical importance. Oh, 
heavy protection, and a large aircraft capacity, which made them excellent car carriers. Due to their improved construction methods, they literally displaced a bunch. A bunch, okay. So, when we get into World War II era, we will have amazing carriers. So right now, maybe having a couple won't hurt. But it definitely won't be within our best interests. Nice. I think a little bit like one. Punish them dearly. Let's check the air situation, because I feel like we're on the cusp. If we can just produce more air units, we're on the cusp. Unfortunately, we're losing even more to air accidents. Yep, I can tell. Yep. The enemy troops are really feeling it, though. If we look at logistics in the area. Yeah, they're really feeling it. Goodness flippin' gracious, are you kidding me, man? Oh, you can stop doing that. Please and thank you. Oh yeah, we did want to see what was in the armored car divisions. Everything. Yeah, we we were sent back by quite a lot. Quite a lot of time. We lost a lot of cars within a short amount of time. A lot of cars. So now they don't have any armor anymore. I mean, the best one would be this one, and it doesn't even have armor, because it doesn't have fuel. I don't know why here. I'll just let it do its thing there. Bro, I don't care about all that. Oh. Oh, I just realized I actually have troops that can have supply up here. Troops with supply are very dangerous. Especially in this scenario, in this situation right here. I'm gonna be losing one. I'm gonna have to wait a whole week though to watch that tree flipping leave. Okay. Stifle it! Stop that nonsense! This this minute! Stop it! Stop it! Right now! Stop! Dude, seriously, stop! He has like no actual health or no organization. Go away! Come up here. Alright, that's it. Oh. Oh. Everyone stop. Alright. So we do have... This. Get rid of this one and get rid of... This one. Attack. If anything go like that. Here. Let's 
two big pushes that are not going to be very, uh, they're going to sting a bit. But all in all, we should be able to push them out. As we do so. There we go. You gonna be there? Yep. As soon as they actually finish up here, though. Come on. I don't care about Opera. I might cheat here a little bit just to make it a bit more even. Because there's a couple flipping nations. What does this do right now? Okay. We might be able to push from here. We might not be able to. I don't know. We'll see. And as they slowly but surely suffer. We might be able to push them. Might. Might not be able to push them. Might. Goodness, flippin' great, just get out of my face. What do you want? Yay, we got motorized. Um... We do kinda want this. It's almost as expensive as it is flippin' uh... Ahead of time, though. I'm gonna look around. Oh. Mm. It's almost a whole year ahead of time, though. It's really expensive. There we go. Ninety percent. There we go. We're able to flip and hurt them a lot. We're able to push. Quite a few. Oh goodness. Kingdom of Yugoslavia puppeted. Oh, tell me that they're not putting up a stiff resistance somehow with no flipping supply. I highly doubt this place actually has supplied though, too. I'm just saying. We have been trying to bomb it for a very long time. Almost about to win here. 
which is good news. Could you, could you not do that, please? Could you, could you not, please? It is literally only a couple more days. There we go. Get my boss on it. Now they're either going to have to pull out, or they're going to literally just stand to the last for some weird reason. We do have a really good general. And this is Winter Specialist, and he's a skilled staffer. Or a hill fighter. They're up there. You're gonna get. I don't know. I feel like I can teach somebody Hill Fighter a lot easier than I can anything else. So I will keep you for the time being. But these are going to be your last flippin' uh, orders as commander of this particular unit. Take this one. Where are the rest of the soldiers I gave? This is why. Tell that one to go. Fudge. Approved early machine tools, total war. What did we get? Motorized, yep, new motorized that are faster, so that will actually make some of our units kind of OP. See how many are in the stockpile. We 
have over a hundred. Sure, I don't care. Where are the rest of them? Keep the Mountaineers on these. Alright, now wait. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna be waiting a long time for that, but um. All right, then. So ninety six, ninety five, still losing fighters. We're gaining quite a lot of cash. Equipment reliability. It's not eighty nine point nine. 88.9, which is extremely reliable. I'm literally just waiting for our They have no commander. So now they have full ability to actually entrench up there. We're going to just spend some time trying to repair Hopefully we can. Okay. Let's hold off on those. Gonna pull out of what? They want me to join the Dan Nubian Alliance. We are now at the uh, World War One level. Oh. We would have two allies. We wouldn't be without allies. Unfortunately, um, okay. 
Yeah, unfortunately, all of these actually do have a fair military in and of themselves. Ooh, Bulgaria, you actually might save us. Oh no, most of Romania's army is in Bulgaria and not in Romania. That's going to be some trouble. They should be able to sort that out, though. Alright, let's see what happened in here. Okay. Will we be able to do it? Nice. Awesome. Take that. Why are you... Okay. The young gun here. Most of these battles should actually be taken up by, uh, yeah, the other gun. Hold. Hold. Mitigate losses where possible. We got machine guns, now we need support weapons. Artillery upgrade. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna grab the new light field gun. We're gonna see how many field guns and stuff do we have. A lot. What if we switch over? All right, <clears throat> you're gonna have to learn on the job, kid. It. 
overwhelming force. Let's say, how are we pushing up this fucking car? We ran out of, I was about to say, supplies? Come on. Because we're doing fairly well. So, the southern front has stabilized quite a bit. Can go ahead and take that somewhere else. Can go ahead and put you in the garrison army. You'll, that way you'll actually give this guy a lot of experience on the way. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> so we're in buildings, we're losing fighters, they're losing bombers. Nice. Oh, we're not losing that many anymore. We now have 180 instead of 150. Used to be really dire. The bomber situation is still not good. It's not super bad though. Oh, did they pull out? Hey, if they pulled out, that's a win. A win is a win. Getting flipping supply over here is really important. Are we moving? Okay. There we go. The last of the world. We need nationalistic outlook. Oh no. They need a nationalistic outlook. Okay, he's socialistic outlook. I'm not too sure if that's the actual requirement. <clears throat> Where are you? Uh, 
honestly, I just need everybody that's not these two. Like over here. So that I can just have. Except for you. You're part of something else. I just need a situation map. Where is the last one? It's not the same one. We're gonna try to finish these off. Actually, which ones are there? No, it's just one. Go here. Right. Oh, nice. A bunch of submarines just flipping engage the entire fleet. Like, we saw their fleet and we're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> That's what happens. This, this, this right here. This is what happens if you don't give your fleet any destroyers. This is why you need destroyers and light cruisers in your fleet. Submarines aren't really supposed to take out a bunch of battleships like that. Where is it? There it is. You can do that. These two. Just keep on moving, really. You want to basically just keep on moving. Alright, well, taking that one, that means we can... ...move quite freely. We have completely blocked off China proper. Which means China proper is now more or less landlocked and has to import through their land routes that they have. Okay, I was about to say, what is going on here? Go this way, go that way. One of you go up here. We should win this relatively soon. There we go. 4v3. Their strength isn't going to be that much affected, but their organization is going to basically melt. There. We want to take... 1, 2, 3... Move them up over here. What in the flip happened to you? Alright, this piercing is really hurting our armored cars. Where are you? Here? I don't know what's going on with them. But we need to just take them. And leave them up here. They're not good for defending. They have way too much piercing right now. I think they have anti-tank or something. Or just like a lot of heavy artillery because heavy artillery will uh, give you a lot of piercing, but they're making mincemeat of my beautiful 
armored cars. The whole purpose of having uh, the armored cars is so they, they, they don't... More or less so that they can flank and attack lightly garrison units, not like the heavy garrison. Nope. Just a two, just a two, just a two, just a two, just a two. Come on! We did it. We flippin' did it, lads. Attack. Nope. No reprieve. No reprieve. No breathing. No reprieve. Are you kidding me? Where is it? Every flippin' one of your divisions better be assigned down here. Same with these two. What are you doing? Alright, we're gonna get rid of it. It's just them up there. It's just them up there. Your job, right now, is to do shenanigans down here. Make their job really easy of just holding. They're just holding until we can have either more troops or we can just push right now we're really just waiting for planes we're really just waiting for our industry and our planes to catch up honestly that's all we're waiting for because if we had more planes we'd be able to win this war really flipping fast where are you attacking nice okay um, what do you not have? Because there's a certain number of everything that you're supposed to have. Functional car division. Of course, yeah, that's right. We lost an armored car, didn't we? We're probably not going to have enough to even train one of these things. Yeah. We don't have armored cars anymore. One point eight four a day. Let's go ahead and do that. We can save three factories. I don't think you know what I feel. Oh. Oh, there's rubber here. <laughs> there's rubber here. You know what this means? We can do whatever our little heart desires with our industry. We don't have to worry about balancing how many flipping civilian factories we got and everything. Flipping submarines are everywhere, though, as they should be. Unperturbed. They now are on level three. Really just kind of waiting for them to get knocked out. Because eventually when they start meeting the um, enemy destroyers and stuff, they will start getting knocked out. Also, if the enemy makes, like, torpedo planes and stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, you can see level 3 submarines actually can pretty much do everything I ever wanted. Mm 
level two gets the job done though. It's about to cut off everything here. There we go. We got Eastern Micronesia. We have to we have to balance all these all at the same time really. We should be in the south here. Now, if we had more marines, I would move them into China, but China is not all we have, and like, it's India and Burma, all of this, we have to move through all of this, it would just be a continuous slog, so it wouldn't be worth it to just try to put marines up here, and it's more worth it just to take all these islands, so that we don't have to worry about anything over here. Because last time I checked, Ecuador does not have a navy. They have a navy. <laughs> what? Seven out of nineteen. Okay. I think if I show. I'm not worth it. So I have to go all the way over here. We might not be able to even go all the way over there. But that means the enemy won't be able to go all the way over here either. If we take this out, we won't have to worry about up here. I think the biggest one is like one sea tile over. We might be able to just barely reach it, but I don't think the enemy can actually reach us. I'll take it just in case, but after that we're we're good. We don't need to worry about anything over here. So we're just gonna keep on jumping through these islands and then these islands. And it's gonna be a mess to try to get through Australia. Four new points. Well, we are allied with um, multiple actors. Oh, shoot. I think they actually have a front line. They might... Romania might not actually just die here. At first, I was almost certain that they would, but they might not just... They might just not be done yet. Bulgaria, you can... No, you can't. You don't have a... You don't either have manpower or you need equipment. One of those two things. It's equipment, isn't it? I need to start sending equipment out. I need to start sending equipment out. Man. Okay. And they're running low on okay. service by requirement. Service by requirement isn't that bad. But I don't think they're actually um mobilizing. I think that's fully mobilized and they're just losing that many people. And he has Bulgaria. Oh, no, they might be just mobilizing. Maybe. Russian Far East, the enemy is still far more numerous than me. Should be fine. We are disrupting more of theirs than they are disrupting of us. We lost quite a few bombers. Quite a few fighters as well. They're more reliable though, so we shouldn't be losing them as much. So you see we have 21 of the Kai A, 28 here. So these guys actually should be very, very good. Yeah, you can see the just sheer range on these things.
and 28 strategic bombing on the best one. It's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's like early game levels of um, World War II levels. So we have basic early fighters. All right. We only have one here. Oh, didn't I try to? Hold on. Let me merge into just one. And put that as that. <clears throat> Yeah. So they don't have as much reach. If we can take this, we might be able to technically reach more area. Maybe. U.S. occupies their crews. All right. some more support. They're applying a lot of pressure still. I don't know why I did that. I might be able to just... Hold on. Okay. Could you... Could you not? Alright. Mind you, we are holding back, like, the entire world here. Should actually be able to assault this. There we go. What? Why? Why not? Three ninety four, ninety six. Why? How? What? I don't know what's here. What's in this damn thing. But it's hefty. What are you attacking? Oh, over here. It's still just planes.
We need to apply just as much pressure as they're applying to us. Yeah, we have no armored cars. We have like no armored cars. We went from having a huge surplus to having like none. That's kind of bad. 256 for a year ahead of time. That's not bad. 171. Take that. Alright, I guess you guys can just chill out there. Hold on. You guys sure you want to chill out there? You sure? You can. You're allowed to. I won't stop you. It's not a good idea. Oh, look at this guy's smile. He looks like a chad. They got more flipping units in? Cut that out. I mean, if you guys are kind of somewhat retreating, that's cool. Yeah, these, these two are chilling. I really do want to just save my armored cars. 